There was a death, but we ran it over. I'm trying to remember the name. I'll keep you guys updated <laughs> if I remember the name. Oh yeah, and we're here at SeaWorld Orlando. Orlando, SeaWorld. Yeah, we're gonna ride an icebreaker. It's gonna be my first time riding um, Kraken with its new repaint. And we'll be in there in three, two, one. It's called a Pop-Tart. My mom figured it out. Got the passes and we are headed straight there because we only have like 35 minutes till it closes and I'm hoping to get at least two rides. So yeah, we'll be right there. Ooh, it looks pretty dang good. Getting closer, we've never walked on this path here, so. Looks really nice. There's a very high possibility it's down. I mean, Mako's open and Kraken looks like it's open. Come on. They're testing it, oh my god. I don't think there's any, yeah, there's no one on it. That looks <laughs> pretty extreme for a family coaster, if I'm gonna be honest. Look at that, Mom. So there's the best air to mode on the ride. Funky. That looks really good, actually. Man, that's really cool. There's a human being on it. Well, it's an employee. That doesn't really mean anything. Are you sure he was? As suspected, it is down for now. That's testing. It should be open rather soon. Here we go. on credits. Iron Quasi will, will be my hundredth. I don't care what happens. This is a really good ride. It's really good. I, I just hate the trains. The trains are awful, but it is really smooth, really fun. The spike in the back, I did it in the back. The spike is amazing. The top hat looked really good. Great coaster. Smooth. It is very smooth. I just hate the trains. For some reason, it reminded me of... Okay, so we might get a few more. Yeah, it reminded me of Verbolton for some reason. The launch has felt the same. It was incredibly smooth as I would hope. And now we're going for our second ride in the front, hopefully. We've done Icebreaker twice in the front, once in the middle, once in the back. It's a really great family coaster. Uh, SeaWorld needed a launch coaster, and if they get that surf coaster, that will only be better and uh, off to Mako next. So this beautiful beast broke down again. I, I don't know if Premier is like Intamin or something where all the rides just go down constantly, but it was our last run on it anyways really good this top hat was really good especially in the back that like the very top there it's really good the top hat was really good the turnaround at the far end over there was a, was way more forceful than i thought it would be and then finally the airtime hill going up to this like to the top hat was really good very very 
happy with this ride. We're headed off to Mako, which is over there somewhere after, I don't know, we'll just head to Mako now. Here we are. Haven't ridden this in like a couple of months, not a very long time. Five minutes. Let's see if I want to place this above Apollo's Chariot or not. I love this ride, it's just the setting for me isn't the best. And that's where Apollo's Chariot shines for me. So we'll see. See you after we're done riding it. So we just got off of Mako, me and her. Um, we, my mom liked it, I liked it. It wasn't as good as I remembered. I might drop it like one or two spots. The second half really isn't that good, but the first half is so good, it just makes it a top tier hyper. So now we're gonna head to Kraken over there somewhere. Kraken has no weight. This is going to be my first ride on the new repaint. Probably gonna do like two rides if it's not broken down. It actually might be broken down, we'll see. Manta today. Looks fun. I don't know if this is like one of the first days that it's been reopened since like it got repainted, but looks really good still. I just don't want to do it right now. Right, Mom? I'm so small compared to you. <laughs> so that's going to be it for our day here at Sea World. Okay, I thought the ride would be going. It's not going. Um, so that's gonna be it for a day here at SeaWorld. Really fun and ice. Until next week when we go to Iron Gwazi. I will be in four days pretty much. Icebreaker is really good. It's exactly what this park needed. Now, instead of a surf coaster next, I honestly think that they should get like a like an in-between from Icebreaker and Grover. Now there's a lot of noise. Something like, I don't know, uh, I don't really know. Just something a little bit more tame than, um, something a little bit more tame than Icebreaker next. So, as it. What? Anything you wanna say? Hi. Goodbye.